Yo, what's up guys, it's KCBC here, and today I got a review of Marlon Humphrey's 98 overall team builder card. Now, of course, before we get there, go ahead and drop a like on the video because it definitely helps out the channel. Along with that, if you guys are into player reviews, if you guys do like coin making methods, and if you guys are looking for schemes to get you down the field and score more points on any opponent, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and turn that notification bell on just so you're notified anytime we drop anything. All right, so this Marlon Humphrey card is coming in with 98 speed, 96 excel, 91 agility, 90 jumping, 96 play rec, 96 uh, man coverage, 92 zone coverage, and 95 press coverage. Along with that, I do have him tiered up to about um, locked down, fully cammed. I have 25 different uh, Baltimore Ravens on the squad just so I can get that plus one speed. And I do have Ravens past the tier three. So that gives me, you know, a plus one on the zone, plus one on the man. And he has, I think, when it comes to his uh, block shedding, I think it's 51, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's find out. Block shedding is a 51. Finesse moves a 46. When it comes to cornerbacks, obviously, we don't expect them to be too high. But the higher, the better, just because, as we know, it's a run first game. So you want to be able to stop the run when dudes are, you know, spamming that, 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 uh, that, their Dickerson card, right? So, yeah, this card, as far as stats overall, I, I really was trying to look for a stat that wasn't, you know, too good. And I really couldn't find much. Um, as far as like an end game card stat wise, you would assume by looking at this card's stats that it should be an end game card. He starts off as a 96, but as far as abilities that I put on him, um, if I was to put something on him, I'd probably put tip drill tier one, uh, tier, tier two, maybe lurker. Yeah, probably lurker or universal coverage. And then tier three, same exact thing, lurker or universal coverage depending on which one I use for which. And those are probably the top three I would say you should use. Along with that, uh, his pieces, as far as like building him to power him up, to put him like your Ravens theme team, he is gonna run you a, a good 350K maybe to make. Maybe a little more, a little less, depending on the market tomorrow with, uh, you know, the new combine promo drops. But as of tonight, uh, I am dropping this a little late as well too. I know he came out like last week, but I've been really busy. So pardon me, I'm trying to, you know, get straight A's and whatnot. But besides that, you're gonna notice that he is not, he doesn't really, how, how, can, I, how can I put this, um, and how can I put this honestly? He's gonna get beat on a lot of plays that you're gonna see here. Now, when he gets beat with these plays, like this is kind of glitchy right here. I don't know why it's being so glitchy, but forget that one. Here you go, there's another one. You're gonna notice that he sometimes is gonna play the ball perfectly, just like that. And other times he's gonna get completely burnt. He's probably one of the most like toss up flip a coin cards I've ever played with, especially for these damn stats. He should be end game top tier cornerback as far as like what I did to him, with like all the chemistries, just to get him up um, to like, you know, standard level. He is by far the more, the most like, does whatever you want car in the game. He's like the pretty girl at the bar that you buy a drink for, and you assume she's gonna give you her number, but at the end of the night, she tells you she has a boyfriend. He's the definition of like, uh, just a tease, just a tease, an automatic tease. The card, stat-wise, looks like he should be amazing. But like I said, there were times where like he was near the play and he wasn't the one making the play. And there were a lot more times where he was missing the tackle and the play was being made on him. Or he was missing the interception. He is not somebody who like goes for interceptions as far as like his uh, traits. You definitely have to click on to him. You can't even just like, you know how you can like cold triangle and the computer will pick the ball for you. 
he won't do that. He'll automatically go for the SWAT. Automatically. And I don't know why that is, but EA kind of tuned him to be that type of card. And I guess it's kind of like, it's what you have to deal with, you know? Like I said, he's not as good as you would imagine he would be based off his stats. Um, you definitely have to like shade him out. I would imagine with some good tiered abilities on him, he would play pretty good. Um, probably, probably amazing. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk about what, what you know, uh, abilities do, they just change up animations and allow certain players to get certain animations in critical uh, times or crucial moments in the game, or whatever. And I just feel like with those abilities, this card should be way better. But his traits are just so bad. He's not clutch at all. Uh, he very much so plays like Marshawn Lattimore plays in real life. And you can call this a shot at him, but it is what it is. Like one play, the dude's making a great play. And the next, he's getting burnt for six. Anybody who's a Saint fan, I'm not really a Saints fan, but I've watched a lot of football games in my time. And I I think I had Drew Brees on my fantasy football team last year. So you know how that is when you got to like watch the games. That's who Marshall Lattimore is in real life. The dude can play, then he can't play on, on other plays. And that's like, a, it's, like a, it's a coin toss. You never know what you're going to get. And with this card, this Marlon Humphrey card, it's the exact same thing. You never know what you're going to get. Occasionally, he'll make that play for you. And occasionally, he'll do that. He'll run right by... And then you have to make the, you know, the switch up yourself. It just, it just, it's frustrating to say the least. Because you don't really know if you can trust this guy. Now, granted, I played him as like a cornerback one. And I'm assuming he's more of a cornerback two, cornerback three. Like a nickel in the middle type of corner. Um, I, I know for sure he'll play pretty decent there. But as far as like playing one-on-one -on -one deep coverage... That's one of the few plays that you'll see where he actually gets in front of the guy and makes the, you know, you know, you know, the break on the ball. Like there's another one too. That was probably the only one I got for you guys. And it was just really hard to tell you that this card is great because he, he just isn't. He doesn't play up to his, uh, you know, up to par. He is a toss up. He's a coin toss. And it's just one of those things where I don't recommend you guys getting him, powering him up. Unless you have a Ravens theme team and you really want to make a, you know, a Ravens theme team that that causes damage on that field. I guess you could put him up there. He's probably the best Raven as far as cornerback goes right now. So, um, maybe not actually. I'm, I, I'm tripping because Deion Sanders is still here. And tomorrow, Deion's going to go ahead and get uh, an upgrade. So, Deion is probably a little better. I don't even remember Deion ever played for the Ravens. I don't think he did. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just young and I'm still old, so I don't know if that's true. But um, for some reason in this game, he gets that uh, that Baltimore Raven Kim. So as far as like best cornerbacks, it would definitely go Night Train Lane, Dion, and then maybe the Marlon Humphrey card for a Ravens theme team. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think it, this card is very underwhelming, but he's not too expensive. He can technically be free. Um, for his you know biggest piece if you went ahead and chose him for your missions like I did um, Dumb choice, but it is what it is. I'll probably play him as cornerback three or four using like a dime nickel package uh, And that's it. So yeah, Casey Beast guys checking in and checking out Let me know if you guys have him on your team Let me know who else you guys want me to review for you guys and uh, I'll get that done ASAP. I'm gonna see you guys next time uh, Take care